Hi everyone, my name is Isaac, and believe it or not, Android is actually a 10 year old operating system with 10 years of Android devices. Congrats Android, congrats. Now in this video, I actually wanna compare the very first Android phone, the HTC Dream, to the new Google Pixel 3 XL to see how much Android device hardware, software, and camera performance has changed in the last 10 years. Let's take a closer look. So first, let's talk about design and build quality evolution. We've gone from full plastic builds to premium glass on glass and metal builds here on the Pixel 3 XL. We also have major design and hardware differences like stereo speakers, water resistance, a fingerprint scanner, that notch, and of course a lot more as well. But the humble HTC Dream also has a few things that Pixel doesn't have as well, like an SD card slot, as well as a physical keyboard. The Dream actually has a lot of buttons and keys instead of just softer based navigation like on the Pixel. This came out during a time when basically the idea of a smartphone was such a brand new thing. The easiest way to actually explain a smartphone is being a pocket computer and this idea is definitely seen in the Dream. It looks like a little mini portable laptop almost. Also interesting, the Dream has no headphone jack and uses a proprietary charging port, although you can technically use a mini USB to plug it in instead of the EXT USB that it shipped with. There's something really nice about actually holding and using the HTC Dream. It's just so small and compact, it's comforting. I don't know, there's just something nice about this little phone. The HTC Dream here is actually running Android 1.0, the very first version of Android before any sort of dessert code names or anything. And the Google Pixel 3 XL is running Android Pi 9.0, the latest version of Android. And these two versions could not be any more different. There are so many changes. They almost look like two different operating systems altogether, but there are some basic things here which are kind of similar in terms of design. We still have some very basic things like the idea of an Android app drawer, as well as the analog clock widget which is kind of similar to the older version, but not really. App icons have actually had the biggest transformation here in terms of differences. Android 1.0 kind of focused on showing what apps actually were with physical objects with shadows, while Android 9.0 kind of shows a very different representation of what an object is for an application without showing the actual object most of the time. It's very different. These differences extend to actually opening up applications as well, like stock apps for example, are vastly more simplistic with no context for menus or anything and relies on actual hardware to show certain options with the buttons. One of my favorite features about Android today though are those animations. They're incredibly motion forward, they're buttery smooth, and are absolutely gorgeous. It almost makes the operating system feel somewhat alive compared to Android 1.0 where things just appear. There's also the entire project butter aspect as well. Introduced in Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, it actually brought along a consistent 60 frames per second motion compared to an Android 1.0 where the frame rate isn't always totally smooth. General navigation is also a really big thing for Android today as well. We've gone from physical hardware here on the HTC Dream to software buttons and today to actually full gestures on most new Android devices. Another huge thing for Android today as well is artificial intelligence and AI and Google just can't stop talking about it. AI, 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 AI. Almost every aspect of Android today ties into some form of artificial intelligence, like photos can be searched and using AI, you can find the exact things, time, location, or people that you look up. Based on what you do or look at on your device, Android basically knows and shows it to you before you even ask for it. It tells you what's playing before you wanna look it up, and Google Lens actually lets you identify objects in the real world with just the camera. And of course, there's also Google Assistant as well for checking the news, the weather, the time, sending out text messages, setting alarm clocks, reminders, asking where your packages are, which is a great overall feature, and of course, jokes. Tell me a joke. Did you hear about the world's largest pickle? It's a really big dill. <laughs> You can even add third-party actions from third-party developers as well to do even more on Google Assistant. An example of this, my friends over at Mobile Carrier Telus have a custom Telus action available so you can ask things like, what's my bill? Why is it high this month? What's my data usage? Tell me about plan options. A bunch of stuff you'd probably call support for, you can just ask right on your phone in Google Assistant. 
If you want to check out this Google Assistant Tell Us action as well, all details are linked in the description down below. And speaking of Google Assistant, I actually have a brand new Google Home to give away to one of you lucky viewers in the US or Canada, courtesy of our sponsor TELUS. To enter the giveaway, it's super simple, all details in the description down below, definitely enter, you could win this Google Home. Okay, so moving away from software, camera tech is one of my absolute favorite things to look at in terms of evolution and improvements in the world of smartphones. The Pixel 3 XL probably has the absolute best smartphone camera I've ever used, and compared to the HTC Dream, there's 10 years of mobile phone camera evolution totally visible. There it is. The sharpness, dynamic range, colors, and contrast, you can see how much things have changed in terms of mobile phone photography in the last 10 years. It's super impressive. Have a look for yourself. Okay, so to summarize, Android went from an operating system that always felt kind of unfinished, unpolished, not fully complete, to an operating system that is incredibly stellar, smooth, and very polished today. And the devices that run Android are stellar in many ways, in terms of hardware, software, and features, and honestly, Android has come a very, very long way. What's your first Android phone? What's your favorite Android phone? Let me know in the comments down below, and thank you for watching.